since assuming office, U.S. President Donald Trump has been making surprising moves marked by a lot of confusion and inconsistency. Just a few days back, he made the most controversial decision of what could be called in the U.S.'s history. When he recognized occupied Jerusalem as the capital of Israel despite strong opposition against the move the world over. And now he has come up with his first national security strategy, using tough tone against Pakistan, China and Russia. Something that has nothing to do with reality but mere rhetoric apparently aimed at pushing this part of the world into chaos and anarchy. The three countries were quick to respond to the U.S. administration's new strategy with Pakistan categorically rejecting the allegations leveled by the U.S. president saying they trivialize its counter-terrorism efforts and sacrifices to promote peace in the region. As the strategy repeats the allegations of presence of terrorist safe havens on Pakistani soil, the foreign office spokesperson very rightly pointed out about the presence of terrorist elements under the very nose of the U.S. forces in neighboring Afghanistan. The fact is that the people of the region have recognized the ugly and dark face of the U.S., which is using terror to serve its interests in the region. One must not forget the very statement made by former Afghan President Hamid Karzai repeatedly about the U.S. connections with terrorist monsters such as Isdash. Despite substantial military presence and latest weapons and equipment, the expansion of terrorist activities in Afghanistan raises many questions on the U.S. intentions. China and Russia also decried Trump's national security strategy, which pilloried both nations as challenges to U.S. power, as a Cold War mentality with an imperialist character. The Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson urged the U.S. to abandon outdated notions such as the Cold War mentality and zero-sum game otherwise it will only harm itself and others. Kremlin spokesperson exposed the imperialist character of the new U.S. document and its refusal to renounce a unipolar world. There is no doubt left that the U.S. is scared of the rise of China and the resurgence of Russia on the global scene which puts its lone superpower status in question. Given the current situation, we have no doubt in saying that the coalition of Pakistan, China and Russia together could bring about a major shift in world order with CPEC playing a major role in physically connecting the three countries by building a relationship based on mutual trust and confidence with cooperation in diverse sectors particularly economy and security the three countries have the capacity to foil the US goal that is only to push this region into deeper anarchy and crisis related webmaster